To write the name for CO2O3, we first need to recognize that CO, that's cobalt, that's a transition metal, and then O, that's oxygen, a nonmetal. So we're going to use these rules to write the name for CO2O3. First, we'll write the name for the metal as it appears on the periodic table. CO, that's cobalt. Next, we'll write the name for the nonmetal as it appears on the periodic table. O, that's oxygen, so lowercase o. And then we cross this ending out here and change it to IDE. So far, we have the name for CO2O3 as cobalt oxide. But cobalt is a transition metal. So we need to take into account the charge. We need to write that in the name here. Oxygen, that's in group 16, sometimes called 6A. That's always 2 minus. And we have three oxygens. 3 times 2 minus, that's 6 minus. Cobalt, it needs to be 6 plus to balance out, to give us a net charge of 0. 2 times 3 plus, that would give us 6 plus. These two charges would balance out, give us a net charge of 0. So we're going to write the Roman numeral 3 for this 3 plus here between the names. That makes the name for CO2O3 cobalt 3 oxide. If you were given this name and asked to write the formula here, you'd know that the cobalt would be 3 plus because the Roman numeral here in the name, that tells us that that's 3 plus. This is Dr. V with the name for CO2O3, cobalt 3 oxide. Thanks for watching.